Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Hello, if you are new, my name is Andrea Johnson. I'm a spiritual teacher and coach. Welcome to the Good Vibe Tribe. Welcome to another episode of what I call Conscious Coffee Talks, where we discuss a topic to expand our consciousness and improve our lives. I wanted to make a video over a Instagram reel that I made about the reason why you came to earth. And the reason why I wanted to make this video was to maybe shine some light on the exact reasons why we choose to come back here because there was actually quite a bit of a debate uh, in the comment section on wanting to return to earth that it is a choice or it wasn't a choice they don't want to be here so I want to give you guys my understanding of why we chose to come back here what it is that we're doing here and what it kind of looks like on the other side before coming back I'm going to honestly give you my perspective of it and this perspective came from like an evolution of perspectives and just experiences and the more that i got in touch with source and the energy and the more that wisdom was given to me the more that my belief or thought about this concept evolved so if you don't resonate with it totally fine there's a lot of ways that which somebody can perceive this information so just fyi guys if it doesn't resonate with you click off the video i understand this is a debatable topic so just be open need some caffeine for this one to first lay foundation you have to understand we are all this energy that the whole entire fabric of our universe is made up of source energy we all come from the same source so therefore essentially we are all the same consciousness, same energy source, experiencing itself subjectively through the human experience, right? So the human experience can only take place on earth. Earth, I like to look at it as the epicenter of everything kind of happening, which essentially you are the epicenter of everything happening. It's your universe because you are truly the only thing that you know to exist. Essentially, you are the epicenter of everything to take place. And this body is just the machine to harness energy. That is you basically connected to all that is source energy, all the dimensions, all the different kind of levels of beings, whatever you want to call them their energy can be streamed through you and also meaning the lower level frequencies that we experience here on earth, if you wanna call them demons, whatever. So this is what I mean that earth is the epicenter because it's kind of like smack dab in the middle between heaven and I'm gonna call it hell, but heaven and lower level frequencies, which we call earthly frequencies, which are relatable to more of a human existence, you're the bridge that connects those two. And that is what we call the human experience. This cannot happen anywhere else. And why it is so special to be here because of this experience, right? So our soul knew this. One concept that I want to go over and what I believed for a while, and I still kind of like have an idea of it, is our soul comes with a mission of learning. It wants to learn more about itself. A lot of people call this like earth school. You've probably heard of that term before. On the other side, you have spirit guides, angels. They're helping you put together basically this blueprint of your life that you're wanting to live out here on earth. And hopefully you decide with your free will to stick with it, right? So that's kind of the idea. Do I think that this is wrong? No, I, I don't think that it's totally wrong. Um, I've watched a lot of near-death experiences. All of them kind of like state that they've had had like a life plan or they made contracts um, with certain souls to have experiences here. I'm not going to go too deep into that because I did make an afterlife video. I'll link that down below that goes further into that on how I describe that happens and why it happens. Your beliefs now create your reality here and in the afterlife. So it really does just dependent upon what you believe, what you experience. And that is still what I hold true in this reality as well too. When I used to think that, you know, of earth school, that my soul came here to learn lessons and to evolve itself. That thought to me felt very heavy <laughs> because when you think of learning lessons, that doesn't really feel good. At least for me, it doesn't feel very good. It feels like I'm sitting in school and 
I don't want to be here. And I feel like a lot of light workers or a lot of people who have this same concept feel the same way. Like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be learning any more lessons because when you associate life with lessons, you kind of associate, at least for me, hard, like the lower level frequencies. So I don't like to view it as that anymore, even though you can still kind of apply the same concept. I like to look at it from a higher perspective on what I think it is that we are actually doing here and the beauty of it. So essentially when you decided to have a human experience, which 100% I can believe that we choose to come back. Whether some people think that they were persuaded to come back or forced to come back or they signed a contract and had to come back. Whatever you believe, that is your reality. So if you understand the power of your intention, the power of your belief, your faith literally creates your reality. If you believe that you were forced to come back, it's gonna create a low level frequency, right? It's not gonna feel very good and it's gonna be like, God, I don't wanna learn these lessons, right? Why did I come back? It is the creator's choice to determine whatever it is they wanna believe consciously or unconsciously and that's part of the beauty of the human experience and earth is that we get to experience both the light and the dark and we can't do that anywhere else because the higher you go in the dimensions or in the spiritual realm there's only like higher thoughts higher wisdom higher consciousness which means there's only a limited amount of frequency that you can experience which it is love it's very high frequency and high thoughts right but that's all there is. And eventually when you get to the very top and source and the rejoining of it, then that's really it. That's all there is. There is no existence. There is no necessarily life even to be had. There is just you in the corner of the universe. And what else is there to do besides to basically create a reality in a hologram and get to basically play a game with itself in the act of what I believe to be just creating because when you get to the higher realms guys it's just energy this is the physical world this is the world of where energy is manifested in physical form so we have matter like this microphone you know everything is made out of atoms and electrons but we are still yet connected to the spiritual realms because this is where we pull our thoughts our ideas our emotions they're a different form of energy and frequency because that is truly all to exist is different you know levels of frequency on the scale of frequency of love and fear light and dark angels and demons heaven and hell all opposite ends of the spectrum we get to experience that all here streamed into you of the bridge between the cosmos and earth. So what I believe that we are doing, since we cannot create like we can here, anywhere else in the universe, we have come here to learn about ourselves through the act of creation and manifestation. That is it. Um, I truly believe that is what we are doing here. We are experiencing ourselves subjectively through all these different experiences that each one of us are having. Ultimately, the same consciousness just focused in on different life forms. My ego in this body creates the illusion of separation that I am different from Janet down the street. Even though me and Janet are the same consciousness, experiencing itself we have different levels of vibration because of our thoughts our feelings and our emotions and our choices in life our habits our actions and it was our free will to actually create the life that we want to you choose the life from your choices in life it is the creator's choice to experience whatever it is you're in control of your thoughts your feelings and your actions your emotions all of those create your reality. So here we actually get to help create in physical form. So your soul actually gets to take the journey of life, insert your character's name here, the manifestation of your life to discover who it is, its evolution. And the only way that it can understand itself is through the physical world. Our external world here is basically just a big tool to show us who we are as a soul, showing us how we react to a situation, like our thoughts, create our reality like what do you think about yourself what choices are you making what relationships do you have what job what interests like all of those things are information for you to get to understand yourself 
better through the external world. Part of us getting to understand ourselves better is we have to forget that we were even sourced to begin with to be here and that's part of the game because if we knew that we were automatically this thing, our faith would be so strong that we could create anything that we want. And part of being here as well too is there is a lag time in manifestation. So if you think of thought, you know, in the higher realms, it's automatically happened. You're already that thing. You already have whatever thing because you think it and so it is. I think therefore I am, you know, kind of the same thing. If you think yourself to be like this fantastic public speaker, then automatically you're a public speaker. But here you have to embody that frequency and you have to have enough faith in yourself to believe that you are it, to be it. And here we're actually trying to build our faith in ourselves. We're actually trying to build self-love within ourselves and we're taking the journey of our life to get whatever goals or manifestation that our soul is gifting us to create here. So each and every single one of us has desires in life. We have a life that we envision that we want to create. There is not one human that doesn't have goals or desires or wants things in their life and it is for a reason your soul wants the evolution or the journey of becoming that like frequency of what it is that you want to manifest because law of attraction tells us guys like frequency attracts like frequency so it's going to take the journey to get there and that is going to be what evolves your soul there is going to be lower level frequencies along that journey and it's inevitable to not experience it because of the human experience you know unless you evolve yourself to be an ascended master like jesus or buddha or you know an enlightened individual and you've mastered your mind enough to actually shift to the higher perceptions then you won't experience those lower level frequencies and you're here to teach people if you're like most humans here We are experiencing these lower level frequencies. So it shows us who we truly are because there has to be a form of separation. We had to forget who it was that we were, creator, love, passion, source, energy. When you leave that, meaning when you feel those lower level frequencies of fear, depression, anxiety, the opposite end of the spectrum, shame, that doesn't feel very good. You can better understand who it is that you are. So think about it like a thermostat of hot and cold. You don't know what cold is until you experience hot. We don't know what love truly is until we experience fear. And then we realize, oh, I don't like that. I don't like those thoughts associated with that feeling. So now I'm gonna have to choose a higher level thought to make a higher level feeling on the scale of frequency. Or you can choose to, if you're a good energy worker or a conscious creator, You can choose to feel and shift the energy in your body with the power of your intention or through the act of like some kind of movement, something along those lines to shift the energy from a lower level frequency to a higher one on the scale of frequency. So then you're just going to take the path to get to this manifestation and then you're going to be creating more manifestations or goals or desires along the way. Somebody can look at this like breaking free from your box of reality, pushing past limiting beliefs which is kind of the same thing. It's personal development, basically development of the self. That is really what your life is, especially if you want to achieve things in your life and want to have things in your life, you have to develop the self to match that frequency to create those things. And that is what I feel like we're doing. We're getting to know ourselves through the act of creation and manifestation. The whole point of life is creating. The universe wants to get to know itself better through creation, right? It's trying to expand. The universe's goal is expansion. It's reaching new heights of wisdom, of concepts, new heights and states of love, of bliss, of ecstasy, of passion. Like how high can we freaking go with these things, guys? There's no cap to it. The universe is going to constantly expand because that is what life does. Life is a flow right? And you are part of that flow. You are the bridge between it all. It's all streaming through you, right? You actually allowing this energy in and creating with it is just 
the flow of life. And you feel those lower level frequencies. This is where some people will consider them their karmic lessons or something that they're working through and it blocks the energy flow. It blocks you from taking action, from thinking that you can achieve the things that you want out of your life. And that's all really the lower level frequencies are doing is it's your lack of faith in yourself to not achieve the things that you want to not achieve the desire that you want or think that you can do the things so that is where faith is everything faith in yourself is the same faith that you have in spirit that's why it's so important to have confidence and faith and self-love because when you do those things, when you hold those states of energy for yourself, you are unfuckable. You can basically have anything you desire in life and you will hold such authenticity with those states of being. People will find it very difficult to go up against you. You will find it very difficult to see people as going against you. So do you get what I'm saying here? If you hold the self-love, the confidence, if you believe in yourself and you accept yourself, nobody else can touch you. You just keep moving past all the limiting beliefs and you don't see failure. You don't see people as trying to tear you down. You don't see the fear. You just are in the flow of life and you just see your evolution in everything. You just see how you're growing, how you're evolving, how you're developing yourself. And when you work on yourself, you will add so much value to the world automatically you're going to attract abundance, money per se. You're going to attract a lot of power. I say power, but a lot of people are going to be attracted to you because they love your energy. They will not understand why they are attracted to you, but there's going to be something about you that they are magnetic to. And this is your authenticity. They want that energy too. And your presence and what you do and just being a channel for your authenticity, for love, for passion, for creativity, expression of your soul's purpose here, just allowing the free flow of energy and creation that you already are, allowing it to be here, you're going to shift the earth you're going to shift lower level frequencies to higher ones and people around you because we share energy we are energetic beings people with lower level frequency stuck in their field will become attracted to you because they need your light they need your light and they subconsciously know that and just you being around them will raise your frequency and we call this resonance and this is what you know healers i say healers energy healers know this to be true because that's how it, how it works in a session you just have to be the channel for energy that creates worlds guys that creates universes the thing that is powering this body just wants to create in the physical and it is an evolution. You get to learn a lot about yourself with the things that you want to create with. You know, you can create with love and allow love to come through or you can create with fear. Either way, it is your choice as the creator and as the human experience. So for me and just like my opinion, that's what I think we're doing here is creating and getting to know ourselves through the act of creation. If you understand spirit enough, which is a self-discovery, um, everyone's probably going to feel different about this. But if you understand the nature of spirit enough, you will find that every choice in your life, every kind of goal that you have, manifestation that you want, it's going to involve you reaching for higher states of freedom in your life. It's going to help push you to create more love into your life. And it's going to want to bring more value, not necessarily just for your life, but to others. You naturally want to help other people. So you are going to be constantly manifesting ways to achieve all of that in your life. Spirit is free. Spirit is love. Spirit is giving. It gives life. It gives value. It feels important. All of your decisions are probably going to have an underlying agenda, feeling, uh, reason to do something because whatever it is you want to manifest is going to give you one of those things. I know for myself and my purpose, when I first had my spiritual awakening, I felt really no purpose in life. I almost felt like life was very meaningless because it almost feels like, what is the point? <laughs> Which is another aspect of the ego uh, coming through. But there definitely is a point. Very important point. I remember 
I had a very, very vivid dream, a lucid dream, I don't know what you wanna call it. God came into my dream and he like pulled me from my body. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. We zoomed over the astral and I looked down and I saw earth. And when I looked down and I saw earth, I just saw quick flashes of images of just chaos. And I couldn't even really make complete sense of the images. I just felt destruction and so much lower level frequencies and I was like oh my gosh this is where, where we're headed like what God you know basically another aspect of myself which I saw myself in this thing and it was basically me talking to me and it was like I need your help and of course me and I'm like what am I supposed to do you know I asked God what am I supposed to do with this like I can't make a difference I can't do anything by myself the answer that I got was so beautiful. It was, I need you to bring people to me. And I'm just like, what? What? What am I supposed to do with that? And then I woke up. I was like, okay, so now I need to go like convert people? Like what? Like, like how am I supposed to make people understand that, you know, push spirituality on them essentially is like the first thing that popped into my mind. I'm like, I gotta, you know, make people spiritual, I guess to understand that God is within them. And that is not what it meant. As I went on through the journey, I started to realize that my purpose wasn't to convert anybody. It wasn't to try to push my beliefs on anybody. And it, it really wasn't even to save anybody. It was to basically remind people of the love that already exists within their life and the power that they already have within them. That the love that they seek or the answers that they seek to their problems is all already right there. When somebody says they need God in their life, they don't mean you need to take that person to church. You don't mean that they need your beliefs to be pushed on them. They just need to be reminded of the love that they already are. They need their power back. This is what this channel is dedicated for. This is what my basically life's work with energy work and psychic development is for. It's giving the power back to the individual and reminding them of who they truly are and their connection to all that is and to help that energy be expressed here. So then their life force may be given back to them. That is where I found my purpose. And I do so in creating content like this and energy work sessions and teaching to help people do this in their own life and then help other people in return. That's how this works. So this is my special unique way to do it. And it doesn't mean that this has to be your path either. All you have to do is be the embodiment of love and creation here and then you have fulfilled your purpose and that looks differently for everybody so anyways guys i'll link several of my videos down below that i talked about the sole purpose uh in the afterlife video that will describe a little bit more of what happens in the afterlife um and spirit guides contracts things like that not necessarily i didn't go too far into contracts um but you'll you'll get the picture anyway i hope this video helped you guys i hoped it shined a different light in your reasoning for to be here and it's not meant to be hard it is not meant to be hard guys so sending you all of my light and all my love cheers mm -hmm.